Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm on the street, and today I am here with just a quick tip. Uh, instead of showing you about C Cleaner, I have a feeling I would get flamed on that video because that's so freaking obvious. I'm going to show you something that you might not know, and it is how to recolor an image using GIMP. Now, sometimes, for whatever reason, uh, you'll have a, a picture that is one color and you want to change it to another color. This is not a tutorial on going through and like making shading and like completely changing an entire picture with multiple colors. I'm not that advanced into GIMP right now and even if I were that would be a really long video. This is for uh, if you have a picture that is mostly based in one color, this works best if the picture is already a one color picture, shading is is kept, but um, yeah, you want the picture to be one color, and yeah, it works better with simpler pictures. So like a picture of a face, this would obviously not be good for. A picture of like a button or a logo is what this is mainly good for. So I'm going to go ahead and switch to desktop view here. Now, as you can see, I've got an image up at the top right of my desktop, um, and that is a button. I'm going to zoom in here. As you can see, I am designing a website, and I'm not going to have a store on the website, but if I did, I might want to include this pay button here. And as you can see, it's very pixelated. That's because it's supposed to be this small. But as you can see, the pay button is blue, and there's a green check mark. And I'll show you what happens to the green check mark in a minute. But, yeah, this button's blue. What if I want it to be red, though? I'm making a website based in red. I don't want blue buttons just sticking out. Um, and, obviously, if you're making your own buttons, make it the color you want, obviously. Um, this is for, like, if you're using a preset theme and you're just modifying the theme or something like that. Uh, I, I'm not here to tell you what to use this trick for. I'm just here to show you. So, as you can see, yeah, like I said, blue uh, button right here. And I want it to be red. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to install GIMP. And GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. And I'm going to open it right now. You can get this for free. It's open source. And I'll put a link to it in the description below. You can either right-click the image and click Edit with GIMP. Or you can open GIMP and click File Open. Obviously, we all know how to do that. So I'm going to right-click on the picture itself and click Edit with GIMP. And it will automatically open in GIMP. So as you can see, I've got the small little icon here in GIMP, and I want it to be red. So what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top bar, we're going to click Colors, and then the third button down is Colorize. And as you can see, it immediately changes to a, a lighter, like, teal type blue. Um, and you can change three settings. You can change your hue, which the hue is the color. So scroll through until you want to find the color that you're looking for. So if I want red then obviously I'm going to scroll through until I find red. Oh, there's my red. Uh, saturation is how colored it is. So this is very, very strong red, and this is complete black and white. So if you want to make the image gray, this is what you would do. And like if I want to make it like a dull red, like you can, you can see what this slider here is doing. And then we've got lightness, and that controls how bright the color is. So obviously black and white you don't want. But like if you want a darker red, uh, you can do this, or if you want like a lighter red, you can turn the lightness up. And this is all on a real-time preview. Now, let me show you, if I click cancel to exit back out of that, right now the button is blue, but the check mark is green. Notice, um, I'm going to try and zoom into this on the video, although this is probably looking really pixelated at the moment. Um, notice that the shading of the button, um, you've got this like lighter streak up here. Obviously the words stay. Um, but notice that the, the check mark is going to immediately become the same color as everything else. It's going to be a little bit lighter because the green is a little bit brighter than blue. So it's just going to be a brighter version of whatever color you choose. So if I choose, like, uh, for some reason, if I wanted orange, and then I turn the saturation, oh, I guess it's not really orange, but if I turn that up and I turn this up, as you can see, there's still a little bit of, of shading. You've still got lighter where it was lighter originally and darker where it was darker originally and this is mainly what this tool is good for you know if you want to maintain shading on a simple image but you want to change the color then this colorized tool is really good so you click OK and then you either do file save as obviously if you want to use your your 
image in any program other than GIMP, you're going to need to click export as, so I guess I should say that. Export as, I'll say bright button red is what I want to call it. And I'll export, and that will export to my desktop. So, I'll drag this over here. As you can see, this was my blue button, and now I have a red version of it as well. So, like I said, the shading is still there, which is really cool. The check mark is no longer a different color. The entire thing's the same color. But if you need to re-theme some images or re-skin, recolor, whatever, uh, for any reason, then this may be helpful to you. And it was helpful to me. That's why I'm posting it. So, yeah. Um, don't go commenting, what's this ever good for? It's good for if you have a buttons for a website that you'd like to change the color of. And if you've got another use, then feel free to leave your use in the comments below. Um, so, yeah, hopefully you found that useful once again. And, yeah, that's about all for today. I'm Jacob Kaufman. I'm in the street. And I will see you later. See ya.